Welcome to Magitools. In this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to copy and paste in Premiere Pro. This is actually a very interesting topic and this is something I've been struggling with in Premiere Pro quite a bit. Now let's dive right into it. First of all, I'm going to drag and drop a random video file into the timeline by simply drag and dropping the video that I already inserted here into the project window. Now we have our video including our audio track here in the timeline. I'm just going to maximize the timeline now so that you can see better. And as you can see now we have our video on video track 1 here and we have the audio for that video on audio track 1. Now let's say you would like to copy the video with the audio track together, how can you do that? Well, as these two clips are linked together, you could either click on the video track or on the audio track and you will then notice that both of these clips will be highlighted. Once you see that both of them are highlighted to copy, you can simply press Command and C on your Mac or Ctrl and C on your Windows PC. Now in order to paste these clips, you would have to press Command and V or Ctrl and V on your keyboard. However, before you do that, we have to talk about where these clips will be pasted to. And the way for you to make sure that they will be pasted in the right position on your timeline is to use the cursor here. It is now at the very beginning of the timeline, which means that if you would paste these clips, they would be pasted at exactly the beginning of your video. However, let's suppose you would like to paste these clips at exactly 10 seconds into your video. So you would left click on the cursor and you would drag it to this 10 second mark here. And only after that you would press Command and V on your Mac or Control and V on your keyboard to paste your clips. And as you can see, we successfully pasted our clips. Now, one very important thing to notice at this point is that you always have to be careful about the toggle tracking when pasting clips. So what does toggle tracking mean? Toggle tracking can actually be seen here on the left side for every video and for every audio track. It's actually located here where you can see those tracks highlighted in blue. When you hover over video track 1 for example, it will say toggle the track targeting for this track. As you can see toggle tracking is currently active for video track 1 and for audio track 1, audio track 2 and audio track 3. Now to show you how toggle tracking works, I'm going to deactivate toggle tracking for audio track 1 and audio track 2 by simply clicking on it. Now let's copy and paste our clips here again and see what happens. For this purpose I'm going to move the cursor to 20 seconds here and now again I'm simply going to press Command and V on my Mac or press Ctrl and V if you are on a Windows PC to paste. And now when you paste you will find out that our audio track now actually has been pasted into audio track 3 rather than on audio track 1 as was the case before. And that's exactly what toggle tracking does. That said, the right way to copy and paste in Adobe Premiere Pro is to first set the toggle tracking. Because if you don't pay attention to this and you have a lot of clips in your timeline, I can guarantee you whenever you're going to copy and paste things around, it's gonna be a huge mess because clips will be pasted all over and often not in the right positions and not on the right audio or video tracks. And this can indeed be very detrimental because if you already have footage on these tracks and then paste new audio or video clips on it, what happens is that the existing footage will be deleted and overwritten. So the correct way to go about this is always to make sure that the toggle tracking here is set properly. So if you want to paste something on let's say video track 3, you would first um, deactivate video track 1, you would select video track 3, and let's say that you would like to have the audio that goes with it on audio track 2, so you would deactivate audio track 3 and click on audio track 2. And now if we want to paste that here at 30 seconds, make sure that the cursor is set here at 30 seconds and then press Command and V on your Mac or Control and V on your PC and you will then see that our clips here are pasted onto the right tracks. 
Now, last but not least, I would also like to show you guys how you can just paste the video part of your footage or just the audio part of your footage. Whenever you add a video into your timeline, what typically happens is that your video will actually be split into a video track and an audio track, as is the case here. For convenience then, whenever you do that, your video and your audio track will originally be linked together. That means whenever you're going to move your footage around, they will move together. And that's usually obviously also what you want. However, in some cases you probably just want to move the video part or just the audio part. And sometimes you probably want to get rid of the audio altogether and just use the video part. So whenever that is the case, you will first have to make sure to unlink the footage. Here's how you do that. Simply left click either on the video or the audio part of the footage, then right click on your mouse and click on unlink. Then left click somewhere on the timeline and now hover over the video part and left click and you will then see that now only the video part of your footage gets highlighted. Whereas before, if you would click on the video part or the audio part, both of these would actually be highlighted because before they were still linked together. And now let's suppose you would just like to copy the video part without the audio. To do that, you could simply left click on your video and then press Command and C on your Mac or Control and C on your Windows PC. Then set the cursor to the position where you would like to paste your video clip to. And then press Command and V on your Mac or Control and V on your Windows PC to paste. And you will then find out that only our video clip has been pasted, just as expected. And you, you can now obviously also do the same with your audio clip. To do that simply left click on your audio, then press Command and C on your Mac or Control and C on your PC. Then put your cursor in the right position and then to paste simply press command and V on your Mac or control and V on your PC. Now last but not least I would also like to mention that at the beginning of this video I actually had three audio tracks here activated instead of just one. And in that case it seems what Premiere will do is whenever you are copying and pasting something Premiere will simply use audio track 1. However, this is not really how you should do it. If you just paste one video clip and one audio clip together, it's better to make sure that toggle tracking is only activated for one video track and one audio track. So instead of having activated three of them, you should make sure that only one of them is activated. And that's it guys. This is how you copy and paste in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye.